won't need them. Sussex is in the depths of despair as being shunned by Prince Charles. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry could find themselves being shunned by Prince Charles if the couple were planning a return to royal life as the Prince of Wales will not want or need them, a royal expert has claimed. Since quitting as senior royals in March 2020, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have pursued a new life in the States. The couple had initially hoped to continue serving the royal family by splitting their time between North America and the UK, however, this proposed compromise was quickly rejected by the Queen. Instead, the couple were stripped of their patronages and were advised to longer use their HRH titles in any official capacity. Since then, the couple has gone on to establish new careers for themselves, including signing deals with streaming giants Netflix and Spotify. Harry, 37, is also the chief impact officer for the professional coaching and mental health firm BetterUp. While he and Meghan, 40, are also involved in the investment business because the couple serves as impact partners and investors at ethical fintech firm Ethic. While the pair's controversial decision to step away may have caused a physical distance to form between them and their British relatives, the Queen has often referred to the Sussexes as much-loved members of the family. As such a potential return to royal life for the pair has been widely speculated, especially amid reports that the Queen would like to spend time with her great-grandchildren, including her namesake Lilibet Lily Diana, who turns one in June. However, royal expert Ingrid Seward claims that a royal comeback for the pair is off the cards. Addressing reports the Duke and Duchess of Sussex could reintegrate themselves into working life among the royal family, Ms. Seward claims that Charles will not want or need Meghan and Harry in the fold when he takes the throne. Charles wants a slimmed-down monarchy not an expanded one so he will not want or need them around in any sort of working capacity. The Prince of Wales has long been rumoured to desire a more slimmed-down monarchy when he takes the throne. A shake-up is expected to the royal family once Prince Charles becomes king, and he has his eyes fixed on hangers-on at Buckingham Palace with more structural changes predicted. Prince Charles has had a long-term plan to trim down the monarchy once he takes to the throne and it could serve as a warning after recent high-profile problems, a royal expert says. The firm has, of course, already undergone some major structural changes in the past few years. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have decided their future is not in the UK, while Prince Andrew is not expected to ever return to public life. But the enforced alterations don't begin to scratch the surface of what's ahead, some believe. Charles has long been prepping for the new era and he has palace hangers on firmly in his eye line. It has long been said that the 73-year-old plans a major shake-up of the when he becomes head of state, and it could also affect royal residences. He said, I think when Charles takes to the throne we will see the emphasis put on those who command absolute respect. The demands of responsibility and certain behaviors that are needed will be at the forefront, simply, you must be totally reliable. It is well known that Charles wants to stamp his mark and in modern times, don't be surprised to see changes made. It will be a very handy way to respond to the recent controversies, such as Prince Andrew as well as Prince Harry's attacks on the family. The core will be there, and Prince George will join in time, I think that is clear. But it's always been speculated that Charles, when he eventually takes over, will want to slim down the working royals at the heart of the family.